My name is Edwin Kibet Koet. I'm 20 years of age. I work with the Ron TV International Limited here in Nairobi, Kenya. It's an international company. I work as a DOP. Uh, my work at Ron TV International Limited is uh, checking all the cameras. Uh, when we go for shoots, uh, I'm the one who does the settings for people. I'm the one who does checks the white balances, the color grading of the shots. Mostly it's directing uh, while at the mixer doing live streams. Film production has a big entity of work and it depends with your passion and love for it. Actually for me, I loved it because it makes you meet new people. In this industry you learn new things each and every day, each and every second. You learn through people that are old enough to teach you some things that you didn't know basically. And uh, for our young generation, all this is important to our lifestyles. And uh, you meet people that teach you things that you didn't know. You travel a lot in this world and in Kenya. My favorite po uh, point in production is when uh, um, you go traveling you do stuff that you've never done in your life. You go to hotels, these big hotels, you meet people, you interrelate with other people from other countries. And I was born in Huruma. I was raised in, uh, in a military camp, DOD. My mom was a KDF soldier and my dad is a journalist. So what's happened in my life is that while I was in primary school I became interested in production life while I was in class two actually so my dad was deep into journalism he was a chief cameraman at NTV he used to teach me some things like putting on a camera putting batteries in cameras that time there was a camera there was this camera called PD-175 we those cameras were being used to Zilko's neck or tips the tapes, the tapes were, <laughs> it was kind of a work. So the tapes, Ulkona Maliza, it was a 60 minute tape, so you couldn't take an hour or so. So Una Maliza job, you take a big casket of tapes, Una Zichukua, each of time Uneka tape after one hour. So Nilikwana Jifunza Kweka tape, playing them back, uh, editing taking photos. Ilikwa an interesting part of my life that Una get minim toi. Napata like aya kumbe kuna koga na vituka easy kuna kitu neza record na battery na kaki tuka dogo irudi kwe video so yeah that's a type of my life my dad so my dad was this kind of a person kikujamita tunatembe na e masatisa za usiku delivering cameras going to these places munenda kiare end of year parties muna kula nyama muna pata na na watu agava muna pata na na wasani and you know nikiwa mtoi. Kupata na msani was this big thing. Unapata na msani ka, tseme ka, example, Lily Paul. It was like a joyous thing in your heart. Umepata na msani, unamona nga kwa TV. Nilikuwa kama mtu wa ushago. So, budangu alikuwa nanifunza hizi vitu, tunatembea na yeye. Each and every time ananipasha, pesa hivi, pesa hivo. So, yeah. So by the time I was going to class it, I had fully trained. I was actually 93% of knowing things in journalism and photography and all this stuff, depending on visuals. Uh, my dad used to tell me while well, I was in class eight, you're now a fully grown man. You should know what you want in this life. Na unafau jifunze vitu unataka. So mini likuwa, you know, in class eight, bado ni mtu imdogo, you don't know what you want. So nilikuwa natoka na kuja half term, Na ambia mzae, nipatia kamera, nimepata job, I go. Actually, my first, the first money I made was in primary in class 3. I made uh, my first 100 shillings by Tulienda trip, Tulienda Nairobi National Park. I recorded some footages, went at home, edited them. Nika kuja, nika patia beshte ango. I remember the name, maliko na Tasha. Nika mpatia CD. CD ni kampati yaka ni pati ya Somoja. Actually, Somoja ilikuwa pesa. Mingi ni kio class 2. Ninge buy fudge, ni buy crepes, ni buy snacks za kukula. So I was this jovious guy because ni mepata miya moja. Nilikuwa na feel adi neza nunuwa gari. <laughs> so, yeah. So, after class 2, sasa tukuje in a professional way. Form 1. 
Form 1 nikaingia Form 1 I went to a school in Naivasha ilikuwa inaitwa Father Abraham Boys nikamalizia hapo Form 1 nikaenda na I came back to Nairobi so when I was back in Nairobi that's when I fully started doing it professionally because ningeenda field napata nimeshiki nimepewa camera 2 camera 3 naambiwa aman hiyo so hapo ndio nilikuja nika learn terms zingine za directing nikakuja nika learn terms za camera work nika learn terms za photography On my biggest achievements in um, in this industry is that I won uh, an award in 2022 it was uh, upcoming videographers of the year it was one of the biggest actually that was one of the biggest achievements i had because like kuku identified na watu wengi hivyo na mse anakupatia award ka hiyo it's very it's 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 like an honor for me two man i got to work with the biggest industries in Kenya Imagine working for a bank called NCBA, working for CAK Kenya, working for Hill and Knowlton, working for as in all these big industries you know in Kenya I've worked with, Unilever, Standard Group I've worked with it. I've met people in this world I've never imagined I'll ever meet. I've met like the likes of CEOs, I've met with governors, I've met with MCAs, I've met with MPs and uh, the fourth biggest achievement i've done i bought a car at 19 years old a mercedes benz b180 uh, for working with these people i worked with uh, during the campaign season i worked with uda as the photographer i worked with uh, the mcas part of their forums and all that in photography and video I worked I've worked with uh, some of musicians like Gloria Muliro I've done their music videos LJ Masai Papa Denis before the late Papa Denis uh we were doing videography for him for his concerts Welcome back to Millennial on the Move. My name is Kibet. Follow me at Instagram underscore K underscore I B E T. On LinkedIn, follow me at Edwin Kibet. By the way, for youths, we are very arrogant people. At Takangi kuambi wa kitu ya kufanya. One, maze take take note from these old people. Maze tu usiu kwa tu mwadharau, lakini they are very wise. They know what they are saying. They can't mislead you. Um, two. Man youths to watch history ya kupenda raha sana. Raha si poa. You should know yes chukua raha but if you get 80% save 10. Kule hiyo ingine yote hataki kujua utakula kiasi gani. It's it's very useful for knowing what's coming tomorrow. Maze jipende. Si poa kukula pesa umepata yote. Save hata kani 2%, 3%. It might help you kesho ama kesho kutwa uneza pata kesho umesota you needed that a thousand shillings na hauna so it's very useful for you uh, in terms of videography and photography just like like your passion like what you do no matter what you do in life just love it fanya na kitu una una, una roho yako yote for me tukienda ga field na crew yangu the crew that i'm going with i normally tell them fanya kazi ujuo kiaribu sura yako ndi imeonekana hapo so the next time these clients find uh, you as a camera person or an assistant or a cable boy man hata if raia services ulimpatia hata kwa like hata kwa na point fingers anasema umse last time tulikuwa na yeye kazi yake ikwenda fiti so man jipende fanya kazi unafanya na passion fanya to the fullest do it as if you never do it again deliver deliver man my inspiration is my dad my dad is one person who has taught me things in life amenionyesha vitu mtu mwingine ange inionyesha kwa maisha yangu he's the one who has made me what i am today he's the one who made me buy that car he has supported me to the fullest yeye ndiye alini nikiwa shule bado alikuwa anani train yeye ndiye alikuwa ananionyesha this the right way this not the right way so yeah and basically it's it's just him fully him 
and uh, my mom also for the support because ange kwa mtiaji ange kwa naniambia acha na hiki tu kwa pilot kwa engineer yeah uh, my future the next future of mine i see myself as a big brand in kenya and internationally i see myself as this person mtu akiniona anasema with that guy ukimpea job yako ata deliver fully um, i see myself as one of the top notch guys in production in kenya what i do so that i nisitolee kwa hii industry yetu because this industry of ours is too small and new people come every day so i train myself new skills i train myself how to do live streams in a uh, in a very unique way i train myself some photogenic stuff i teach myself things from youtube by the youtube is a university in a in a small component of a browser so you can just go there it it knows many things it can teach you about black balance white balance live streams how to link things uh, for me i've taught myself new skills by every day when i wake up i make sure i know something new that it could help me to teach somebody else or maybe do it in a client's job so working with the young people in this industry is very hard actually cuz mtu yana say ana nika anaona he knows or he or she knows better than you when you try and teach somebody he tells you see na five fun you even it's not the right way so you end up arguing with somebody because of something you know and is that he, he or she doesn't know yeah and uh, to this gen z people want instant success like unafanya leo inafanyika kesho you reach or inafanya leo like in our gen z watu wanataka kuona malambogini marols royce at this young age and it's it's not possible unless unafanya things to do with illegal substance it's not possible for me it took it took almost 11 years to not even 11 15 years to reach where i am right now a client is basically a person who needs your service and he, he or she needs it to be delivered in a top notch way hata kama utapata wengine they have no budget wengine anakuambia i have this 30k nataka unifanyie live stream ya kamera tatu and yet they know it's not possible for that we normally advise our clients we tell them eh hey, hii wezi hii naweza so basically a client to me is somebody important to me is somebody who wants to support me to reach where i should go to somebody who believes in my work as a person cuz hakuna mtu atatoka tu kwa barabara kuja kwambia like kibet i need this done can i give you the job hakuna mtu anaweza kupatia kazi ya 1 million na mlipata na kwa barabara that's impossible one thing people don't know about me is that i'm a very friendly person because uh, one i should kitu nafani fanya kwa maisha yangu nafani socialize na watu cuz that's what brings business to me people bring referrals kuna msi ataenda aseme eh hey, there's this friend of mine called kibet and without being social to people you won't get that from people so if i would be an animal which animal will they be i will be a lion because one a lion is a go getter a uh, lion won't give up hata ukiuma utati it make sure imeku rarua mara mbili one of uh, the best destination i would like to go to is seychelles one because hey, it's a very it's a very it's umeona vitu zinakujanga kwa movie ka hologram like a blue sea it's very beautiful it's a beautiful city or it's a country yeah seychelles is a, is a country that it's it's very beautiful uh, it has a very beautiful wild animals and actually for my camera work, it could bring me good scenarios to shoot and all yeah Actually my best equipment in photography is a 5D Mark IV. It's a Canon camera and my best video camera it's a PXWZ280. It's a very good top-notch Sony camera that gives you quality pixels and all. If not photography and videography my side hustle will be um nimeitaka kuingia kujinvolve na farming. Farming inaka kitu mzuri sana kwa sababu lali njaa. You just need like a uh, uh, certain amount na hiyo iko na an exact budget ya kufanya ukisema ni 500,000 ni 500,000 ukisema ni 100 ukisema ni 50 utatumia hiyo 50k kufanya kitu unataka so in this life you cannot do without a photographer and videographer 
Eh, na kuna hizi two events mnakuanga nazo. These two small events, even if it's international. I have a company that has an ETR for corporate world. So if you ever need my services, which includes live streaming, photography, videography, consultancy, sound management, and uh, drone shots, aerial footage, you need anything that deals with visual and sound, just contact me at uh, rontvinternational at gmail.com or my phone number 07066060088. My name is Edwin Kibet and you're watching Millennial on the Move.